What I wish I knew before Tyson's big comeback? The behind-the-scenes health scoop is here. Mike Tyson says he's just fine, downplaying health concerns. Extra precautions are in place as the 58-year-old gears up to face 27-year-old Jake Paul this Friday. The bout is a controversial one considering Tyson is 58 years old, but on the undercard are three world title fights including the highly anticipated rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Organizers are hopeful of selling 60,000 tickets at the Dallas Cowboys AT and T Stadium, which can hold up to 80,000 fans. The fight night is also the first boxing event to be streamed by Netflix, with Taylor and Serrano serving as the co-main event for the undisputed light welterweight title. You can follow live text commentary of Paul v. Tyson and Taylor v. Serrano from 3 o'clock GMT on the 16th of November on the BBC Sport website and app. The fights are being staged in Texas, meaning a late night for UK fans. The event is due to start at about 1 o'clock GMT on Saturday, the 16th of November. Taylor v. Serrano is expected about 3 o'clock with the main event expected just before 4 o'clock. The Texas Athletic Commission agreed to sanction the contest as a professional fight that will count to each man's record, but have added several stipulations considering Tyson's age. The rounds can only be two minutes long and the bout cannot go longer than eight rounds. Another big thing is the glove size. Tyson and Paul will wear 14 ounces gloves rather than the traditional 10 ounces gloves worn in professional boxing. Knockouts will be allowed and a winner will be announced at the end of the eight rounds. As for Taylor v. Serrano too, all the normal rules apply. Women's fights are 10 two-minute rounds. Taylor and Serrano's first fight couldn't have been closer and they have two of the best records in boxing. Serrano is a seven-weight world champion while Taylor is among an elite club in the modern era to win undisputed titles in two weight classes. 38-year-old Taylor has 23 wins and just one loss on her record, a 2023 defeat by Chantel Cameron she avenged in her next fight. 36-year-old Serrano is one of the most seasoned pro-female fighters on the scene today with 47 wins, two losses, and one draw on her record. Taylor has one of those victories over Serrano, while the other one was way back in 2012 at super featherweight to Frida Wahlberg. Let's take a look at Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's records. Tyson and Paul's records are worlds and years apart. Tyson made his professional debut in 1985, 12 years before Jake Paul was even born. Over a 20-year career, Tyson won 50 fights, losing just six with 44 knockouts. He is the youngest heavyweight champion ever having achieved the feat age 20. He is a two-time heavyweight champion and reigned as undisputed champion between 1987 and 1990, beating the likes of Frank Bruno, Michael Spinks, and Larry Holmes. Tyson retired in 2005 after back-to-back -back stoppage losses but has done a few exhibition fights, including against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020 since then. However, Paul is the favorite going into the contest for several reasons. At 27, he firmly has youth on his side even if there is a big gap in experience. Paul has built a big career in the ring as one of the world's most famous YouTubers. He jumped on the trend of YouTuber boxing in 2018 before having his first pro fight in 2020. Paul has fought a host of recognizable names but many of them are MMA fighters trying out boxing for the first time. Wins over former UFC fighters Nate Diaz, Tyrone Woodley and Anderson Silva have been big spectacles. His only loss was to boxer and Love Island star Tommy Fury in 2023. Paul's most recent win was over former UFC fighter and bare-knuckle fighter Mike Perry in July. Paul has never fought more than eight rounds with seven stoppages on his record. In comparison, Paul has boxed 52 rounds while Tyson has fought 215 rounds. Critics are buzzing over the age gap and Tyson's recent stomach ulcer. But Tyson, ever the fighter, assures us his training was grueling yet worth it. Texas's boxing authorities ensure all fighters, including Tyson, undergo strict medical assessments. Conditions for the fight? Eight rounds, two minutes each, with 14 ounces gloves to reduce punch impact. Despite whispers of the fight's legitimacy, Tyson is reported to earn a cool $20 million. Breathing heavily but speaking confidently, Tyson says, no one is taking it easy on me. He respects Paul as a person but sees him as an inferior fighter. With Tyson's legendary status and Paul's rising fame, this bout is more than just a fight, it's a spectacle. Catch it live this Friday on Netflix. Will Tyson prove the critics wrong? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.